Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Grace Hardy. If you don't know who I am, welcome. I know it's been a while in the making, three months to be exact, but we're here and we got content for you guys. So let's get on with it. Today is going to be, if you can't already tell by the title, uh, Plato's Closet versus Buffalo Exchange Hall. I'm so excited. Plato's Closet is having a uh, athletic wear drop. So their whole store is like decked out in Lululemon, Athletica, Gymshark, so on and so forth. And I really am a gym rat. So I need more gym clothing. So we'll see what we can find there. And then Buffalo Exchange is around ASU University Town. So on Mill Avenue. So we're going to find more of like the Shein, the Fashion Nova, more like higher, bougie kind of type vibes. I'm so excited. Also, how do y'all like the hair? It's so cute. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this haul. So come thrift with me, you guys. Put your seatbelts on and buckle up for the ride. Let's move it, people. Ah. So I'm walking through Plato's Closet and I'm doing a voice recording because there is music playing around in the background. So I just go up and down the aisles and kind of get a feel for what's going on. I find a pair of Fashion Nova shoes, which are totally my size, however, not my style. So I just continue going on. There's these yellow vans that I'm kind of looking at because I do need gym shoes, but they're just too yellow for me personally. Um, I just continued to go around the store, just getting an idea of what I want. It was kind of hard because I didn't see anything like peeking out at me that I knew I wanted to keep in my closet. Um, someone just left those shorts there. Those are not my pick. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm just kind of looking and getting a feel of what I like and what I don't like. <laughs> leggings these ones are like ombre pink ones this brown like halter sports bra these blue ones and then I already tried on these black ones and they fit so let's get the trying on okay so these are what they look like they fit nicely. I'm not too worried about this part because whatever. They fit nicely. They just look like a pair I already have. And why would I get something that I already have? So I noted these ones even though they fit good. <laughs> okay, these ones are super cute. This is what they look like. They're from Set Active. I like them a lot. They fit nicely. As good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna get these ones. Okay, so these ones are cute. I like the ombre, but look it. I don't know if you can see that, but look at the cute. <laughs> so that's a no. But they made my butt look good. I'm sad that these didn't work out. I'm gonna go back out and look for more set active leggings. Because they're so Okay, but I'm done with the trial. So I did try to go back to the legging section. I, however, didn't find anything that was in my size, which uh, was upsetting. They had a lot of things for like smaller sizes, extra small and medium, but the large size category was not hidden for me. There was a Gymshark section. Um, however, I think I just showed up too late because there was not like the great sizes, but I did get to try on the medium and I will say Gymshark just doesn't look flattering on my body. I'm just continuing to look for more like biker shorts and like just anything at this point because I was just having a hard time and I was getting really upset. But yeah, I'm kind of finished with Plato's Closet and I'm about to make my way to Buffalo Exchange. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I have officially made it to Buffalo Exchange. I'm not gonna lie. This is one of my favorite thrifting spots just because they have so many things like the boots, the dress section is always popping. Like, look, I even found this black slip kind of dress that has a overlay of black mesh and butterflies like you guys saw. And then there's just racks upon racks upon racks. One thing that I've noticed that Buffalo Exchange is getting into, the higher prices, babes. They have, like, dresses for $23, $24, $34. And I'm like, that's not a thrift still, might I add. But, you know, it's okay. The pocket's just going to have to hurt these days because I want to look good. I've also been trying to change up my style, so... This is just me checking all the dresses out that fit my style. That's kind of cute, not gonna lie. I didn't take it, but yeah, you'll see in the try-on portion. But yeah, I love Buffalo Exchange. I got two pairs of shoes that y'all will see that are to die for, like break a mama's neck to die for. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, I'm so excited for you guys to see the try-on haul. Okay, okay, bye. So right here, I'm just showing you guys all the pieces. I do have to do these voiceovers, I repeat, because they are playing music so loud up in these stores, like, nowadays, so I have to do a um, voiceover. But those are the two purple tops. They're kind of the same color, but one's long and one short sleeve, and they're both kind of, like, satin finish. This one's, like, a picnic game of material, but it's green, super cute. This is just a black pinstripe vest. I have one of them already, but it's not pinstripe. So that's why I wanted to try it on. This dress, I am so upset it didn't fit me. It just has the corset belt that oh, looks so good. Again, it's a satin finish. Super cute. I think I've been super into satin these days. I don't know why. This is just a gym set that I found that's super cheap. And then, oh my gosh, again, this black dress is so cute. However, it didn't want to go over the thighs, honey. <sighs> And then there's this black mesh blue kind of detailing, super cute. Didn't fit. This one, we already talked about, but y'all know what it is. It's so cute. Okay, so we have this lilac top. The bust is kind of like a padded bra kind of situation, but under it, it has a corset button up with four buttons. There's puff sleeves. They're kind of long, super cute. On to the next top, which is the screen gingham print top. It has lace on the top part of the shirt super cute then the sleeves are very flowy as well as the bottom of the top the sleeves are a quarter inch sleeve with puffs super cute however this top was really tight in the brassiere like the booby part i didn't like it so i didn't get it <clears throat> um this dress oh my gosh slay away with this dress it has this mesh black detailing on the top with the bow up there super cute and then underneath it's a red print but these butterflies are what sold me this dress reminded me of olivia rodrigo so i had to get it because of the butterflies and the butterflies are like sheer and i'm freaking out because it's super cute and i can't wait to wear it hi guys welcome to the haul portion of today's video before I get started, I kind of want to go over some comments and stuff about both of these stores that I failed to mention. So the first things first is Plato's Closet. I kind of wanted to say that I went to the athletic event. However, that doesn't mean that's the only event they hold. It, it just depends on the Plato's Closet. Like I know the Plato's Closet at PV in Arizona, they do a lot of different events like brand events. They do spring drops. They have even their like Instagram profile where they post a lot of the stuff that they give and you can call to hold but you have to pick it up that day. So it just depends on the location and what kind of events they have. I would check in with your Plato's Closet near you and like call it and see like, hey, are you guys doing an athletic event or what events are going on and what kind of weeks. It helps to follow their page. I follow Plato's Closet so that's how I knew they were having an athletic drop. Um, so that's why I went. Another thing that I want to mention about Plato's Closet is, and for any like thrifting store, I guess I should say, is that where your location is, is a big factor and a big part of what you're going to find in their stores. 
So I had a difficult time finding large sizes in the Plato's closet because of the location. They had mainly extra large and small and medium. And that's not because they cater to extra large, small and medium. It's because, or sorry, not extra large, extra small, small and medium. It's because the people who are giving away their clothes are those sizes. So they're taking more of those sizes because more of those people are those sizes, if you get what I mean. So it's not like they're trying to be biased or anything. It's just that's what people are giving. Unfortunately, because that's happening, you're not going to find or you're going to have a hard time finding the larger plus sizes. I will say as a combination to that, the Plato's Closet PV in Arizona does have a um, plus size drop day you can like call and see if your Plato's Closet in your area does that too. At first I was kind of like triggered by it because I was like wow so we need a day to have plus sizes but my mom kind of explained it to me where it's like but what if you are going to find your clothes instead of having to rack through everything they make it easily accessible so you don't have to spend all your time like racking through it. It makes sense because when I went for the athletic drop I was getting defeated looking through all of the small, medium, large because the sections are so big. I was like, dang, there's nothing my size. It made me so upset. Um, So I understand now why they do the plus size drop. So you don't have to be defeated about not seeing your size. It's just, it just sucks. I thought we were past that, but whatever. So that's something that I kind of wanted to address. The drop days, getting in touch with your Plato's Closet or just any like thrifting air in your area. Just adding them on social media helps a lot. The next thing I want to say about Buffalo Exchange is Buffalo Exchange, depending on your location, is going to have, again, what they're gonna have like because it, the buffalo chains i went to was a part of the university town i saw a lot more she and fashion nova stuff um but i also saw a lot more stuff for the spring and the summer stuff that was flowy not heavy on you because that's what the plato's closet um is taking i know the same for plato's closet and buffalo exchange are super the same they take certain brands i know plato's closet takes a lot of certain brands like they only have a list and that's all they're going to take. They don't vary outside of it. Whereas Buffalo Exchange, they're more open to accepting a lot of brands. So if you are um, planning to sell some of your clothes, I would venture to Buffalo Exchange, whereas Plato's Closet, just if you don't have their brands that they take. I would also, again, call and see like, hey, do you take this? Because it just saves your time in line. Like you do have to wait and it's so boring. Anyways. I'm done with that part. Now I'm going to actually go into what I actually bought um, at Plato's Closet. So the first thing I bought, um, I also want to mention before I get started, I did wear all of the stuff that I bought at Plato's Closet to give you guys a good review. So you're welcome. I refilmed it because I was like, I want to give you guys something good. So yeah. So I got this sports bra right here. It is super cute. It's a snake print black and white sports bra. This is what it looks like. Um, however, the fit is nice. It's stretchy as you can see. It's not too stretchy where you're gonna fall out of it. I would say the support is me medium to low support. Um, if you do have bigger boobs, I wouldn't go towards this. This brand is Savvy, S-A-V-V-I in a size large. I did size up because I thought, hmm, my back is a little bit bigger. Even though I don't have a big amount of cha-chas, my back is bigger. So I thought this would fit me. Oh, no, 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 sis. It doesn't. I wore this to the gym and I was doing my core workout and my boob popped out of the side. I don't know if it's because of the cut. If you can tell, so if you look close, the cut is really inwards to the thing. So it's like the cut is like this. Um, My boob just like spilled out of it and popped out, which was very uncomfy. So if you do have this sports bra, you do tend to get this sports bra because you like it. I would just say get your actual size and also um, make sure to wear a top over it just in case to like support you or if you feel uncomfortable that your boob is going to pop out. I let you know ahead of time so you should know about that. The next sports bra that I kind of got was um, from this brand. I don't know if it's Kyoda, Kyodia, Kyova. Kyoda? I don't know. Kyodan? Oh, Kyodan. And a girl's large. It looks like this. It's a brown um, sports bra with a zipper. I wore it to the gym. 
like halfway zip so halfway zip down it looks super cute like this if you want to add a little bit of cleave or you want to keep it conservative you can just go ahead girl and zip it back up it's all on you it has like a halter top kind of back um if you like that it is in a chocolate brown which kind of like made me feel a kind of a way when i was trying to get it and trying it on because it is close to my skin color so i just didn't want to look naked like that's my biggest fear is to look naked at the gym because of the color so i was hesitant but it's super cute it does come with padding i would take it out i keep it in because i do have when i work out my neeps get really hard so i like to keep the padding in because it just makes me feel insecure so i kept the padding in you can take it out it doesn't show but it's just weird i don't really like padding in my bra so yeah that's that the next thing is these leggings from set active they're super cute they are like so tight on you um my foot is so big and if you see these bottoms i have a size 10 foot these bottoms are like really like i had to i have nails so it was so hard putting these on but once these bad boys are on they're on they're not moving around it's a set active designed in los angeles medium to large i definitely because i bought these pair of leggings really want more set active leggings just because it makes me look so flattering it's flattering to my body shape i have a big hip small waist ratio so these if you have the same I would definitely recommend getting you a pair of set active leggings. One disclaimer or one like negative about these is that if you do any core to leg workouts where you sweat around the waistband of your pants to your lower V area for girls or guys, um, you are going to get those sweat marks even though it's like this color. It made me look like I had peed my pants, but it was because I was sweating so much. It just made me super insecure about it. So I would just recommend either if you're going to get this color, just be aware of that's going to happen. Um, and yeah, I would say it's true to size. I am a size large, like in the bottom. So it is very true to size, but they are snug baby girls. So if you got big feet, you're going to have to make sure you don't have nails or something because they're really hard to get on. The next and last pair of things or item that I got from Plato's Closet is another pair of leggings. These are from American Eagle. Um, they are inside out because I wanted to look at the brand for you guys. They're the, the everything pocket legging in a large regular G standard G regular. Um, these also fit super well when I was trying them on in the trying hall for Plato's Closet. However, I work out five to four days a week depending on how I'm feeling. Um, and I bought these in the store at Plato's Closet. They fit me so perfectly. But after a week and I put these on on the Friday, they were just so loose. Like when I was doing RDLs, squats, um, uh, dumbbells, um, leg ups, um, they just were so loose around my waist. It fits still in my thighs and my legs, but it just, I kept having to pull it up. I paired these with um this with the brown thing and then i paired the white with the blue these were super cute um if you follow me on instagram you would have saw that also on twitter you would have saw them so yeah that's how it went for the playlist closet finds for buffalo exchange um i found this dress that i'm wearing it's super cute let me try to like move back and stand up for you guys so this is the dress it kind of looks like this. It has a cow scoop neck with strap. The straps are adjustable. It looks kind of like this. The length of it is like mid to thigh, um, more mid shin. It's super cute. It just flares out. I love it. Um, I think the top is what sold me because it makes my boobs look so cute. It reminded me of Brittany Myung, 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 NGIA. I've been watching her YouTube so much, but... It just this silhouette fits my body so perfectly and i love it so much it's a snake print it has a copper and brown designing i just love this dress so much so i wanted to wear it for this video next i just have this top i'm not going to talk too much about it because again i already talked about it in my other part of the video so it, i just bought this one i didn't buy the short sleeve one because this one was cheaper oh i forgot to tell you guys where this dress is from oh well i'm not going to take it off this shirt 
is from Forever 21 in a size large. It is a little too big for me, but again, my body tends to fluctuate weight if I work out and if I don't work out, so I did want to stay in the large, especially I sweat a lot and this material shows sweat like nobody's business, so I wanted it to be kind of looser. But because I sized up, this boob part is super loose. So that's something to deal with. It does have rouging in the back. So it does like hug you good in the back. It makes your back look like this. It's super cute. I can't wait to wear it. And it goes good with the shoes I'm about to show you. Um, the next item is this dress that you guys all saw that I was like screaming about in the video. Again, this Olivia Rodrigo style dress, slip dress. Again, you know it's a good dress when you can see it in the silhouette that it's made for girls who have big hips. I have such big hips and it's always hard to find things that fit me the right way. And this dress just beautifully hugs my silhouette. And that's what we want to do. We want to accentuate things on our body that we already have and we already love. So this dress just <laughs> did it all. This dress and this dress. If I had to pick... I think I like this dress a lot more because it's more conservative. Oh, wow. Because it's more conservative, but the other one is still super cute. Um, going on to accessories, I got rings. So I'll just zoom in on you um for you guys. But I got this snake ring. Oh my gosh. I got this snake ring. It is super cute. The mouth is open on the snake, and you can see like the teeth. It's super sick. I got it because when I saw it, it was like Oh my god, I'm born in 2001, so I'm the year of the snake, and it just fit me so perfectly. Um, yeah, and then there's this other, it looks like a class ring that you would get if you graduate, um, but it has a Scorpio on it, and my sister is a Scorpio. She's born in November, and my sister is currently in Hawaii right now, so I don't see her, so this is like a great reminder that like she's here. Um, and also I didn't get a class ring when I graduated because I graduated in COVID era and I just didn't want one because it was ugly, but I think this like makes up for the class ring because it's super sick. I'm also really into silver jewelry right now. Like I think my body looks great in silver jewelry. So yeah, silver jewelry all in. Um, moving on to the shoes. I got these lemonade shoes. Um, they're square toe and the heel is like this. It's abstract. It's just this triangle heel. I love it so much. It has like a satin finish. It's super cute. However, these are a size 10 from Lemonade. I am a size 10 in shoes. I'm a size 9, 9 and a half or 10 depending on because I have flat foot and my foot is very wide. So I thought this would be good because I sized up to size 10. Um, but when I've been walking around in these just to try it out for you guys to give an honest review, they are a little big just because of this part. It makes your foot move around a lot. So I say if you do actually tend to buy these from the actual site, I would say get your actual size and I'm a nine and a half. So I would have gotten my nine and a half or if they don't let you go in between size, I would size down in this shoe just because it's just a lot of space and a lot of room and it's not safe to have a big shoe especially with this heel you don't want to roll your ankle on a cute day and fall on your face so <laughs> i would size down um but yeah that's this shoe it's super cute i can't wait to wear it it matches my top that i have so i'm like, super excited to wear that the next shoe i got like oh my gosh we need a moment of silence for these shoes because wow 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 these babies are platform the square toe again the abstract triangle not really a triangle because it's cut off right here which i don't know why they did it looks like this there these straps can wrap around your ankle however i have yet to master these because when i put them on at first the only thing that was secure was my toes and this there was just my foot in the back was just moving around which didn't feel safe at all especially for platform heels um, so if you're not about like strapping in your foot to this before you die and trip on fall in your face I wouldn't recommend these shoes for you. These are the Liliana shoe in a size 10 again It's super cute though. Like they are definitely a staple I however will only be wearing them to take a picture in because I did wear them to church and I look like I could barely walk because I have yet to master the shoe like these are just so cute I found these shoes in um, Buffalo Exchange 
and this girl was eyeing them because I put them down on the floor because I was trying to look in the mirror with them on and I think she thought I was putting them down to like get rid of them but girl no I wasn't they were coming home with me even though they didn't fit that well um so yeah they are super cute I love all the stuff that I got unfortunately I didn't get a lot of stuff I think everything from Buffalo Exchange ranged in price i'm sorry i don't have the tags anymore on them so i can't tell you the actual price um but the most expensive thing was these shoes they were 34 dollars these satin shoes were 12 dollars this shirt was 11 this shirt was 20 or this dress was 23 this bra was 12 dollars i said i don't remember but i do this bra was like 10 dollars these pants were $10, and then these leggings were $15. So, yeah, that's about as much as everything was. I did spend about, in total with the rings, about, like, $143. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below which thing I was, which store I was most successful in. Was it Plato's Closet or was it Buffalo Exchange? I think it was Buffalo Exchange, but I might be wrong. It's up to you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, down below in the comments, let me know your favorite piece. And I'll try to, like, thrift more of that for you guys because I know it's hard. Sometimes you don't have what I have in your state, so I would always like to thrift for you guys as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Goodbye!